Hello, my name is Brian Newland. I'm CEO and co-founder of Goldfinch Health. We help companies save money on surgery without restricting provider choice. And what I'm here to do today is talk a bit about best practices for questions you might ask your surgeon as you head into surgery. A chief medical officer of Goldfinch Health, Dr. Mario Leba, says this very well. Very few things, if anything, gets a surgeon to sit up straighter than an informed patient in his or her office with reasonable demands. And this is how you can become an informed patient with reasonable demands when and if surgery comes up in your life. So 10 questions, I'll go through this quickly and uh, then show you where you can find the resource where you can pull these up later if you uh, have a need to look them over again. Number one, is this considered a minimally invasive surgery? That means small incision, less healing, generally less pain to manage. Number two, how experienced are you with this procedure? Number three, I'm aware that not eating or drinking after midnight leading up to surgery is bad for my recovery. May I drink a sports drink like Gatorade or G2 two hours before my operation? As simple as this sounds, research shows that in very common surgeries like joint replacements, hip and knee surgeries, you can cut a day off your stay in the hospital and significant costs just with a Gatorade. Amazing, uh, hard, hard to believe that that's true, but studies show that time and again, there's a great benefit. Uh, I understand most procedures can have me home the same day. Is that possible with this procedure? Same day procedures, outpatient. Uh, becoming more and more common, important to understand your options. I've heard about the benefits of enhanced recovery after surgery or ERAS protocols. Have you adopted an ERAS protocol for this procedure? Sounds like an informed patient to me. Number six, what do you need to do to minimize the need for opioid pain medications? Uh, that's a top of mind issue for many patients and for good reason in this day and age. The uh, recipe for a better managed pain experience around surgery is one that is opioid minimizing, and sometimes even opioid free. And we've been taught to think that opioids are the good stuff. Actually, you can get better pain management without opioids and avoid all of the consequences of opioid use, not the least of which is persistent use and addiction. How soon will I be walking and eating after the procedure? Uh, number eight, how long should I expect to be away from my normal activities and out of work? Important to have a shared understanding of what to expect as you go in for a surgery. Number nine, is there anything else we can do to make my recovery easier? And finally, number 10, what kind of help will I need at home and for how long? All important questions to ask. This is where you can find the list of questions at goldfinchhealth.com under the patients button. You can see the questions, 10 questions for your surgeon there as well, there are other, as well as other resources. Please feel free to explore. And if you have any questions for me and follow up to this or any other questions about surgery and quality experiences around surgery and recovery, please feel free to reach out. Again, my name is Brand Newland. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Goldfinch Health. Thanks for your time today. Appreciate it.